A public proposal acts like a lead capture form and proposal simultaneously. That means you can embed this form on your website and when someone selects what they want and submits the proposal, a new project will be created and a workflow can be applied automatically if you'd like. With just a few extra steps, you can convert a regular proposal into a public proposal. First, you will need to add three short answer elements. These will be mapped to the client's first name, client's last name, and client's email address respectively, and they all need to be required. This way, Dubzada will have the minimum client information needed to create a project. If you would like to add more elements to collect information, you can do that also. Next, head to the Form Settings tab and go to Public Proposal Options. In order for your public proposal to create a new project upon completion, choose Yes on this option. From there, you can apply a default workflow to begin once they complete the proposal, add a redirect URL if you want them to be taken to a new page on your website, choose a default project status for them to be added to, or change the default project title once the project has been created. If you'd like your clients to be able to sign a contract and pay from your website as well, be sure to turn those options on at the top of the Settings tab. Having a payment processor connected to your Dubzato account is required if you would like clients to pay directly on the invoice from a public proposal. After making these adjustments, you can click the Form Sharing tab to access the embed code and direct link, exactly as you would with a lead capture form. It's also important to note here that public proposals specifically are only available on a trial or premier subscription. However, you are still able to use normal proposals that are sent through a project on all plans. Tip number one. A public proposal needs to have standard packages with fixed pricing since the packages will not be customized from client to client. Tip number two. The proposal being submitted is what will create a new project not signing the contract or paying the invoice. In some cases, a lead may submit the proposal but skip the contract and invoice steps so they aren't fully booked yet even though they have a project in your account. This gives you the opportunity to email the client through their project if you want to follow up or you can simply archive the project if it's a dead lead.